best friend welcome back to my channel i hope you're all having the most incredible day this is the first time that you're watching my channel my name is sebastian and i welcome you guys with open arms i do pop culture videos every single day so if you're looking for a new messy best friend you have found me so best friend grab a snack and a drink girl hit that subscribe button if you are new here I am filming in my closet, yes, best friend, because, girl, it's my safe place. All my little thingamabobs are there, and we have two co hosts today, Sebastian and Flounder, bitch. I'm feeling extra. I I'm feeling extra Disney today, honey, because, girl, we need to talk about Gypsy Rose Blanchard, and, girl, I I needed my I needed my 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 companions with me here because I I'm I'm like I oh okay listen. So, obviously, you guys know the story of Gyp Gypsy Rose. We're not going to get into that. You know, she she lived a very, very, very troubled life. Her mother completely ruined her her her, her life, did a lot of un un unimaginable, horrible things to Gypsy. And Gypsy made a decision um, with her boyfriend to end her mother's life, okay? She went to jail. She spent years there. Um, I suggest you guys watch the act on Hulu. Um, but we are not talking about what happened. We're talking about what's going on right now because it is actually insane. Gypsy Rose has become like internet fucking famous. Not only internet famous, she's become actually famous. Like, hey everyone, this is Gypsy. I'm finally free. Um, I just want to send a quick video and thank everyone for the massive amount of support that I've been getting on social media. Um, everyone has been really, really nice um, and supportive. I really appreciate that. Um, it's nice to be home. I'm back home in Louisiana. I'm enjoying a beautiful day outside. And um, I've got a lot of great things happening really soon. I've got my documentary series coming out, The Prison Confessions of Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Um, I just put out an ebook that I'm super proud of. Um, it's not a rehashing of everything that happened. It's more of my reflection of everything that I've learned um, and experienced in the last eight and a half years. So my ebook is called Release Conversations on the Eve of Freedom, which you can pre-order now. Um, and again, just thank you guys for all the support and uh, keep watching. Okay, bye. I'm going to read you guys something. She made her first TikTok literally like, I don't know, like less than a week ago. She has... 8 million followers, okay? Throughout all her platforms, she has like 10, 12 million followers, best friend. Hey everyone, happy New Year's Eve. Um, I'm about to celebrate with my family. Um, I have my dad and my stepmom Christy here, and of course my husband. Um, so we're looking to bring in the new year together. It's gonna be really awesome to have some family time after so long. So to everyone watching, happy New Year's Eve. Bye. <laughs> Every video of her gets millions of views. Everybody is like obsessing over Gypsy. She is she is literally the like 2024 icon. I'm serious. Hey everyone, so this is my outfit of the day. Everything is Zara, my top, my shorts, my shoes, and my makeup was done by the lovely Miss Isabel. So I'm gonna pretty cute today. Okay, so I am wearing a she went on a media frenzy tour yesterday. She did um um the view, she did like Good Morning America. She did all of these like little interviews with 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 influencers um, to promote her new Lifetime docu series uh, or documentary, where she you know she talks about how her life. You know, the act was a Hulu production. It was a Hollywood production, and she was asked if she watched it. The act is obviously the story of her life, and it was like made into a show, made into a series. And she has actually have not watched the 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 act. She actually said in an interview yesterday that she lived it. She didn't have she didn't she doesn't have to see it because she lived it. And that's that's honestly something like, you know, it's very it's very strong. You know, it's very, very heavy to hear that. And it it, it, it you know, I, I know a lot of people are very like kind of iffy about the situation. Like a lot of people are like, why are people idolizing her? She did a horrible thing. Some people are saying, you know, she had to do what she had to do. She paid for her, her crime and now she's out, you know? Hey everybody. So we are in Times Square. Look at this. Isn't this epic? Oh my God. I'm so enjoying my time right now. Um, we're just walking Times Square and doing a little shopping. I bought an I Love New York t-shirt, which was on my bucket list, so that was pretty awesome. Okay, stay tuned for more. Bye. 
But the issue, well, not the issue, sorry. The, the crazy thing here is that she is getting offers to do so many shows. I mean, Dancing with the Stars. Uh, you know, she's she mentioned she would like to be on Survivor. She has all of these humongous opportunities coming towards her. And when you see her, like, interviews and you see her TikTok, she's so... She's so sweet talking. She's so, she's actually like, if you really like take, take out everything she's done, right? Everything that happened and, and everything she's been through, like the fact that this girl, this woman can stand there and just like still be here and sweet and, and lovable. And so I'm just like, damn. So I want to know how my YouTube family feels about this. Cause I, I know how my TikTok family feels, but I, I, they love her. Like they are upset. Like they are like living for gypsy. How do you guys feel? Um, I just have to say like, she's so well media trained, like the interviews, they, they you have to watch them best, right? I'll link some in the, in the description. The interviews were like flawless. She spoke so eloquently. She spoke so raw. She says that one of her main things she wants to do with her platform is actually raise awareness and help others that might be going through similar situations who don't see like a way out. So I just like, I, 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 I I'm actually like, it is, I, I listen, because, you know, I, I, I watch her, like, videos and stuff, and, I mean, her, like, her love for her husband is, like, on another level, and, you know, she defends him, she's talked about their, 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 their sex life, she says that his D is, like, the best, and that, you know, he knows how to D her down, like, she is, like, I, girl, listen, she's, like, the new celebrity, I, I'm telling you, prepare to see her everywhere, okay, Dancing with the Stars, Survivor, Master Chef, uh, how to get a uh, ooh, how to not how to get away with murder. Um, you know, just she's gonna be on every single freaking show possible. Okay, she's gonna be on you know freaking um the Kardashians. You know, Chris Jenner girl. You know, Chris Jenner is calling her up and down saying, "Girl, uh, you're the next. You're the next Kardashian. I won ten percent, bitch." Okay, um, I find it. I find it. You know what? I find it. I find it so astonishing. I really, really do. I find it so astonishing. The love that this woman gets from people online right now is like, it's, it's insane. People are so obsessed with her. People are so like rooting for her, cheering for her. They just want her to win. And I feel like Gypsy's story obviously can help a lot of people. And not only that, but like, I'm, I, I'm thinking what's going to happen with Gypsy and what the smart thing, I mean, she would, she has to do what she can to like, you know, to have this because obviously, you know, people, people like they'll hype you up for a long time and then they forget about you. So I think she has to just kind of like go crazy right now and like, you know, take every single opportunity given to her. But the one thing she wants to do is help. So I think that's a beautiful thing. If she can talk, you know, and, and, and motivate and help and maybe like have people who are going through similar situations feel less alone. I think that would be a beautiful thing. And that's a wonderful way to use your platform. Now I get your past and all that, you know, and I understand some people really don't, don't, don't agree with all of this fame and, and, and idolization towards Gypsy. But I do have to say that, you know, for everyone who has some kind of platform, if you're not using it for good, then it's such a waste of platform. And now I'm not talking about everyone being Mother Teresa, but that's one of the reasons why I look up to Celine you know, because she uses her platform for good. You know, she's always doing things that, you know, can and will motivate and inspire and, and make, you know, people feel less alone who might be going through similar situations, you know? So I find it all so insane. I, 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 I can't wait for, I can't wait to see what, what Gypsy's going to have. You know, now she has her her lifetime docu series coming out. I'm pretty sure there's a reality show in the works. I've heard rumors that they're, you know, they with the day that she was out uh, from uh, prison, um, she was she went to Burger King, she went to like shopping sprees, and there were a camera crew there. So I'm pretty sure she's going she's going to be like huge. And you know, her biggest wish is to meet Taylor Swift. So I wonder how Taylor's going to navigate that because everybody is so obsessed, but there's still a very large group of people saying she does not deserve. all 
all this praise. So I want to know how you feel about it. Do you think that she's deserving of this praise or do you think it's crazy that people are like praising her? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'm going to like, I'm going to, if you guys like this, I'm going to keep, um, keep filling you in on the Gypsy Rose pandemonium because that's what it is, bitch. I mean, this woman is taking over. She's humongous. Every single fucking TikTok she does goes incredibly viral. Like, it's insane. So anyways, I love you all very much. Thank you guys so much for watching. And Sebastian and Flounder say hello. And we love you all. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Mwah. Bye.